Hi everyone, this is Anjul Patak and welcome to my channel. Now in this video, we will go through some more uh, practice questions for the Tableau test of specialist exam. So let's go through. So the first question is by default measures placed in a view are aggregated. The type of aggregation applied is it's always some depend on the context of the view is always average is always count. Okay. Now, if you would have used the tableau, then definitely you are inclined or bound to answer this as a option, which is, is always some, but let me tell you, this is gonna be wrong. Okay. Uh, let me walk you through the help.tableau.com on this thing. And if you come here and search the article called data aggregation in tableau here, if you see uh, it, this states that in Tableau, you can aggregate measures or dimensions, though it is more common to aggregate measures. Whenever you add a measure to your view, an aggregation is applied to that measure by default. But the type of aggregation applied varies depending on the context of the view. So it is not that it can be always some or always average or always count. It always depends on the context of the view okay so the answer would be b depends on the context of the view then how would you calculate gdp per capita in tableau now gdp per capita would be something like if you would have a column of gdp and the column of population in your database so uh, it would be like summing up the gdp values in the gdp column and uh, dividing that by summing up the population values in the population column so this first one looks wrong second one again it's like you are calculating row by row and then you are summing up that is again wrong method third one is also again a wrong method but if you analyze the fourth option you see that you are summing up first the gdp values gdp column values then again you are summing up the population uh, column values and dividing that okay so this should be the answer and in tableau it will look something like this so gdp per population uh, is called as gdp per capita and in terms of formula it will be sum of gdp divided by sum of population now relationships are represented by a dash and operate at the dash for this i will again take you to the help.tableau.com and if you search the tableau data model you will come to this page and here you can see that we have something called as logical layer and then there is a physical layer now noodles is something called as relationships and venn diagrams are called as joins now if you clearly read here they are asking us relationships are represented by okay so here if you see relationships they are represented by these noodles these this, that is why it is called as noodles also so first option will be noodles but then they are asking and operate at which layer physical layer or logical layer so if you come here again here the heading itself says it is logical layer so it will be fourth option noodles and logical layer now third question is by definition tableau displays measures over time as a dash so if you are displaying any measure over time okay now default behavior uh, will definitely be not packed bubble will definitely not be a bar or stack bar or stack doesn't have much difference it's just that a stack is a standard version of bar chart so definitely these two are not in, not the option packed bubble is again a different uh, chart altogether so basically we are left with the line chart and here if you come to uh, help.tableau.com you search building line charts then you see this first para line charts connect individual data points in a view they provide a simple way to visualize a sequence of values and are useful when you want to see trends over time or to forecast future values and that is why basically tableau always uh, by default displays measures over time as a line chart so this answer is line chart then fourth question is as a general best practice how many categories can a pie chart display effectively? If you search this on Google, the Tableau itself says that it should uh, not have more than five categories. Okay, so maximum should be five categories. So that is why if you see here, 
the maximum five uh, one is two to five one is three to five so we can have two also right it's not a problem so that is why two to five would be the answer because the moment it becomes uh, six then tableau doesn't recommend using the pie chart then which of the following is an example of a date part now if you clearly see here uh, i'll show you this thing uh, whenever you click on a date field basically placed on your uh, tableau dashboard then you right click on that value and you will see these options you will see exactly same options year quarter month day year quarter month and week number so the first part and here there is an example so they tell you like how would it look like the first year will look like 2015 quarter will like look like q2 month will look like may okay these things these are like individual elements of a date right that is date part and when you come here quarter will be q2 2015 that this is fully qualified date so that comes as a date value i have made one uh, video also on this the date part versus date value i will leave a link to that video in the description of this video in case you want to visit that video you can have a look at that so here if you see a date part this is date value this is also date value this is also date value because if you see here these are all date values so the only date part option is left is fourth one that is november which will uh, be like month right so yeah this is the answer now the sixth question is which of the following are benefits of using data extracts in tableau multiple choice so working with latest data at all time ability to use the data offline faster to work with and improve performance if you would have used data extracts then definitely you would have experienced these uh, things like you performance gets improved you get uh, faster to work with and you can always use the data offline but the first point working with latest data at all times this happens only if you use the live connection not the data extract so this one will not be the answer and remaining three will be the answer now which of the following shapes does a heat map used by default line text square circle uh, if you go in tableau and try to make one heat map it will look something like this okay and here if you see marks card you will see this is square shape right so because this uh, here also you see a square shape so this is nothing but a heat map and uh, so that's why there is no circle no line no text only square so basically here the answer will be square now eighth question dash refers to the level of detail for a piece of data wherever you are looking now if you put these answers to that data cleanliness refers to the level of detail for a piece of data doesn't suit data granularity refers to the level of detail for a piece of data wherever you are looking this uh, should be true data connectivity refers to the level of no lod refers to the level of detail for a piece of data no okay and uh, i'll also show you the tableau help.com and if you come here and uh, you see here data is generated and analyzed at many different levels of granularity so granularity is the level of detail of the data and that's what we are referring here data granularity refers to the level of detail for a piece of data so this is the answer and the last question is dimensions containing dash and dash values cannot be continuous so we this is multiple choice two options we have to choose i will again take you to health.tableau.com and if you search here dimensions and measures topic over here and then go here possible combinations of fields in tableau then you can clearly see that regarding the continuous dimensions dimensions with a data type of string or boolean cannot be continuous okay because that for continuous you need to have an axis right you need some values so coming here it will be string and boolean so these two options so that's it guys uh, thank you for watching this video do like this video and subscribe to my channel i will leave all the links which i have referred in this video in the description of the video so do check out those uh, links and uh, my other videos for uh, for additional knowledge or quick reference okay thank you